today I am at the Tam O'Shanter, which is one of the oldest restaurants in Los Angeles. It opened a hundred years ago in 1922. So happy birthday, Tam O'Shanter. This storybook architecture was designed by the same guy who designed the Spadina House in Beverly Hills, and it's steeped in Hollywood history. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, welcome. On my channel, you will find lots of videos about things to do in California. So if California travel is something you're interested in, click on subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so you'll be notified when my next video goes out. This restaurant has some serious credentials. Have you ever heard of Lowry Seasoning, Van de Kamp's Dutch Holland Bakeries? Yeah. The two guys who founded those two iconic brands also founded the Tam O'Shanter. Lawrence Frank and Walter Van de Kamp hired Hollywood art director Harry Oliver to design the restaurant. Harry Oliver is the same guy who designed the Spadina House in Beverly Hills. Now, a lot of the storybook architecture that was originally designed into the house, like the curvy roof that gave it that witch's house look, has been remodeled out, but they still kept some of the whimsical elements of the restaurant. The Tam O'Shanter is a Scottish, not an Irish pub. When it opened in 1922, it was named Montgomery's Country Inn, but they changed the name to Tam O'Shanter in 1925 after the Robert Burns poem. The poem is about a farmer named Tam O'Shanter who goes to his local pub and he has a grand old time drinking with his buddies and he gets drunk. He gets on his horse heads home and he encounters some witches and warlocks and he barely escapes. That fantasy setup is perfect for this restaurant. The restaurant changed names again in the 60s to The Great Scott and then with great fanfare changed back to Tam O'Shanter in the 1980s and it remains Tam O'Shanter to this day. The entrance to the restaurant is a mock cobblestone curvy path. The front door has this gorgeous stained glass and then you're inside a Scottish pub. There's another painting of Tam O'Shanter behind the front desk. To the right is one waiting area next to a fireplace that wasn't on. Close to that is another banquette with more seats when you're waiting for your table. But you won't be bored. There's lots of photos and memorabilia on the walls from the restaurant through the years. An alcohol display separates the waiting area from the bar. The bar has two TVs and several seating areas. If the two TVs aren't enough to keep you entertained, there is more on the walls to enjoy, including genuine Scottish plaids, crests, sayings, and the first pan ever used here. For lunch, I was at this cool and cozy table for two. I got the Tam Brunch Burger, which is a burger with fried egg, bacon, cheddar cheese, and some horseradish. The burger was really juicy. I'm not a huge fan of horseradish, but other than that, it was really good. For dessert, I had the creme brulee and coffee. The creme brulee was excellent. Beyond the bar is the main dining room. Look at all these flags. It has this fantastic fireplace and Walt Disney's table. Yes, Walt Disney's table. During the 1930s, the animators from his studio started frequenting the restaurant for lunch and after hours, and it wasn't just the animators. Walt Disney himself came. This table isn't just named after Walt Disney. This is where he sat when he came here. There is a plaque on the table honoring him. His favorite drink, a scotch mist, which is scotch, crushed ice, and a lemon peel. <laughs> the animators came to the Tam O'Shanter so often and for so many years that this became known as the unofficial studio commissary. But let's talk a little bit about the impact that this restaurant had on Disney himself. This was America's first themed restaurant. The outside was this 
fantasy storybook architecture, but the inside was a Scottish pub. The waiters and waitresses dressed in Scottish garb to keep this theme going. This fantasy experience appealed to Walt Disney. The outside of the restaurant was the inspiration for Snow White's cabin in the woods. And then think about Disneyland. Each section is themed and it has these whimsical and fantasy elements. With inspiration like this, it's no wonder Disney kept coming back again and again. But Disney wasn't the only celebrity who frequented the Tam O'Shanter. John Wayne was a regular, and there have been numerous celebrities over the years like uh, Gavin McLeod, Lily Tomlin, Tony Danza, LL Cool J, and so many others. It's also been the scene for some television shows like Mad Men and Glee. Surrounding the main dining room are three other dining rooms. The front room has these wonderful stained glass windows. The back dining room has another fireplace, a china hutch, and some cozy corners for private conversations. A beautiful airy veranda is part of this dining room. The third room, I think, is an overflow room, but still beautiful and interesting. For dinner, I was seated outside on the patio. I would have been warmer next to the heater, but I love looking at the flames, particularly since the large whimsical fireplace wasn't burning. This week was Dine LA, which is more commonly known as Restaurant Week. Tam O'Shanter had a prefix menu of four courses for dinner. For the appetizer, I selected Devils on Horseback, which is dates wrapped in bacon and filled with cream cheese. I didn't get a lot of cream cheese in mine, but the dates and bacon, that sweet and savory together, were so good. For the second course, I chose the corn chowder, which was thick and hearty. For the entree, I selected the roast prime rib of beef, which is what they're known for. It came with mashed potatoes and gravy, creamed spinach with bits of bacon and Yorkshire pudding. You had the option of adding whipped cream horseradish or chopped and very strong horseradish. I tried the cream horseradish, but it just isn't the right flavor for me. Otherwise, everything was excellent. For dessert, I selected the English trifle, which was layers of fresh, sweet strawberries, sponge cake, whipped cream, and strawberry sauce. Oh my gosh, this was amazing. So if you're ever looking for a Scottish pub, <laughs> Who comes to LA looking for a Scottish pub? <laughs> I'm sorry. So if you're ever looking for some Hollywood history, especially some Disney history, great food, and a Scottish pub, then Tam O'Shanter is the place for you. I hope this helps you find your adventure. Thank you for watching. <laughs>